What's up guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. Thanks for joining me again, Dan. No problem. And this topic is really intriguing to me because ever since I was little, mm -hmm. um, I, I, thought, I thought it would be the coolest thing, it would be the coolest thing ever if somehow um, there's a tape recorder I can hook up to my brain mm -hmm. and I can record all my dreams and then watch them again in the morning like a movie. Because I'm thinking like everyone has dreams, everyone dreams and we all, a lot of the dreams a lot of times don't make any sense. 99% right. of the time it doesn't make any sense. There's like 1% of the time we, we remember them clearly and there's another 1% of the time maybe, I don't know, that we control our dreams, lucid right. dreaming. Right, you're actually, uh, you, you're aware of yourself. Right. And you're aware that you are dreaming and you can maybe like. Manipulate the dream. Uh, yeah. Like, like fly. Very few times. Yeah. We're talking about a company that's, mm -hmm. that's inventing what's called an eye band mm -hmm. and this thing is crazy. So it's 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 something that consumers can buy. It's not even something ridiculously expensive. No, it's, it's, it's like three hundred some dollars. Uh, well, it's it's two hundred forty five pounds. Which so four hundred, yeah, four hundred dollars. It's, it's, like it's under. It's less than a VR headset. Right. Okay. And and what it does is when you're dreaming, it gives you signals to. Uh, to tell you you're dreaming without waking you up without waking you up do you remember having this you're like you're like i know i'm dreaming so i remember when i had it mm -hmm. i was just like i'm flying mm -hmm. and i would br brush stroke my way into right. the sky which is right. where where it fly right and and i like you said i've always wanted to control my dreams mm -hmm. you know i wanted to be in there and play for no, no other reason than just to play in a non-reality world because well, that's it, fun. It's like playing God because yeah. you control that entire environment. Well, exactly. So that's even better than me like like recording it right? because now you can control it and probably remember all of it. Right. Not to mention there are zero repercussions because yeah. you're still alive when you wake up. So it, it, it is it was my dream uh, to be in, in a dream yeah. to control the dream because you can almost basically have another life. Would you, if that's true, would you put this on? Yeah, hundred percent. Tomorrow, no, I'll buy it tomorrow. No way, really? nada. Really? Do you why? know how freaky this is? Why? Why is it freaky? Okay. Why is it freaky? Yeah. You why is it for your dreams? What you if control you control it before? What if you never wake up? How can you never wake up? Oh, you're, oh, you're dreaming. Oh. You know you're dreaming. I'll give you an example. Yeah, you're one of the animes you introduced me to. Yeah. Sword Art Online. Yeah, that's what happened to them. They put on a video game headset, enter virtual reality, yes. and never woke but up. But that's not that's not like real life. Like, you're that's saying. not a dream thing. That's not your dream is okay. This thing doesn't disrupt your normal sleep cycle. So when you wake up, you still need you should, that when, you, when it's your time to wake up, you okay. still wake up. That's what you think. Okay, all right, all right. I'll give you that. You yeah. can try this thing, right? Now, my, my issue is, first of all, I don't think it's gonna work that well. How, really? You think that this technology has, has gone to the point where it can allow us to control our dreams in that way? I do well, not okay. think so. It, it, here's the thing about lucid dreaming. So, uh, there are times when I'm, when I'm dreaming, I know I'm dreaming, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm flying, whatever. There, there are, there's also snags in that. It's not like you can perfectly control your no. dream. No. It's not 100% perfect, but it is cool to be able to be like, I know I'm dreaming, so let me go punch that wolfman that's been chasing me in the face. Well, you know what? You know that's you know what I'm saying? Like, right. like that's the kind of stuff that I want to do in my dream. I right. you can literally control your nightmares. Mm -hmm. You can um, you can basically live out any fantasy life right. you want, which is awesome. That's kind of like total recall, right? In a, in a headband, right? There, you know, you wouldn't need to worry about eating sleeping in that short amount of time. You could literally do anything you want. I mean, it is, you know what this is? This is just another way of entertaining yourself. Like this is video games. Yeah, it's awesome. Way. Because when we immerse ourselves in say World of Warcraft, Dota, EverQuest, when those games first came out, we were in a virtual world yeah. and we would play those games, not I or not you, but people we know would play those games for 15, 30 hours yeah. at a time. What's the difference between this? Same thing. Yeah. You're in another but, reality. But check this out though. Yeah. You are literally playing video games without wasting time. Because you're saying because you're sleeping. Because you're sleeping. Because you're not like wasting your, you can still have a normal life. Right. And still have eight hours of gameplay a night. I feel like and this second that sure. streaming is whatever. Right, so I feel like there's nothing wrong with that, mm -hmm. right? I don't think there's anything wrong with you. You want to be lucid dreaming, you want to have a little fun, whatever you want to do. But what to me, the problem with this is it actually just opens the door to what I said before. Okay, let's say this technology gets better and better. Yeah. You can now, actually, there's no kinks. You go, I put this on, I go to bed, boom. I'm in, I'm in my dreams and I'm, whatever you wanna do, punching Wolfman. Next step, only one person needs to go, all right, you know what, my, my normal life's kinda crappy. 
just induce me in this state. And there will be companies who already have been researching serums or whatever to put you in this catatonic state or whatever you want to call it, suspended animation. Okay. What happens then? Well, look, I think, is that really a bad thing? That, okay, that so, really, okay. This, this, is what I'm, okay. this is what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. Let, let me just play devil's advocate All right. to your statement here. Let, let's just say there is somebody who is supremely depressed mm -hmm. or just, they, they just got the worst luck with, sure. their, with their hands of, with their deck of cards of life, whatever. Right. They got dealt a horrible hand. Their life is just miserable. Mm -hmm. they, they're so depressed, they want something. Oh, yeah. And this thing is able to provide them with, let's say, an alternative life. Okay. Okay. Is that so bad for some people? Is, does it, everybody have to be, I mean, then it crosses the boundaries of, okay, nobody knows if they're, if they're in a fantasy life or if they right. don't know anymore. Okay, that right. crosses that boundary. But to some people, is that so bad for them? Well, look, I don't have a problem with your own decision, okay? You, a lot of times, let's say terminally ill patients, they, they will need drugs yeah. to help them ease the pain because they're, they're gonna die. My, my, so if you wanna go, to, go off to fantasy land forever, that's your prerogative. But to me, like, this is gonna be a problem if now a lot of people are like, you know what, I, I, my life is all right, but you know what, let me just, I just wanna do this. So like, there's gotta be some kind of repercussions for society, right? Cause now if anybody can just be like, you know what? Yo, one day you're like, yo Dan, I think I'm just gonna go hop in this uh, machine right here for a while. I'm like, oh, 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 okay. Your family would be like, oh, okay. You know, like that could totally well, happen. I mean, I mean, look, people could do that now. People could literally be like, you know, I'm gonna drop off the face of the planet for like two years. Yeah, we still go find sail you. the ship. You can't find them in the middle of the Atlantic. They're like uh, eating dolphins and whatever. <laughs> like they could literally drop off. You could go on a little Renaissance tour, whatever. Like, so I'm saying like people who are gonna, just people who are not satisfied with their life, they can still find ways to do it. Right. I mean, would this really be something that encourages everyday people to kind of abandon their life? Yeah, maybe yeah. some of them. Yeah. But again, like, I don't feel like this can be the, the majority. I think most of us are going to be like, you know what? I'm going to take a little five minute vacation or an eight hour vacation, but I want to come back. I, I still got my normal life to live. I, I feel like when you make it, if it truly is able to achieve that, just like if virtual reality headsets yeah. became so virtual that we are in another world, because to me, this is the same thing then people will actually find it. I, I, will, I honestly think that it, it's not gonna just be like, I'm gonna go back to my normal life anymore. Cause well, you don't have to. If you look at Sword Art Online, right. most people wanted to go back. Because it, because they were getting killed in real life. No, no, they were, they were still, they, you can still live in real life. As long as someone, nobody unplugs you, you can still stay yeah, alive. But then eventually somebody comes by and it can kill you. Well, I mean, if you're in a hospital, no one's gonna come by and they're like, look, if you're Joe Schmo, no one's gonna come by and try to kill you. Right. You can literally, literally live there. And there's some people, of course, in the game who are like, you know what, let's just stay here because it's cool, we got magical powers, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But most of them, they're like, which I wanna go so, back to my family. Which is so Well, I mean, I'm using a stupid video game, I mean, uh, anime as a reference, but still, I mean, I'm just saying. No, but that anime is really interesting. So if you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. Because you do think about those things yeah. when you watch that anime. And now it's about to happen. Yeah. Virtual so, reality, uh, lucid dreaming. I mean, we are really on the cusp of, you know, people want to, people are talking about, are we right now living in the matrix? I mean, forget about that. Right now, we're, there's other people trying to create another matrix, a simulation you, to put us into. You know why I feel like this is kind of like the matrix? It's, I feel like you can almost predict life. Okay. Because if you think about it, if something really good happens, mm -hmm. what do you, what do you know is going to happen? I don't know, something bad? Yes. Yeah. Always, always yeah. does. Yeah. It's always like, you kind of know, you kind of like, life is uh -oh. kind of like, it's almost predictable in, mm -hmm. in a certain sense. Yeah. Because you're like, today you're like, hey, you know what? I won the jackpot. Curse of the lottery winner. <laughs> something's going to happen. Like, it's just, you kind of feel it. You get a feeling like, all right, something's bad, something good, whatever. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know whether this is going to be good for humanity to have this or not, but I feel like, yeah, you're right. Eventually we're going to get there and eventually, We'll see. We'll see if uh, if eventually the reality of our world becomes so distorted, we don't know what's real, what's fake anymore. But yo, you're you're really gonna try this? I'll try it. Really? I'll buy. It. I'll buy it tomorrow. I'll I am. It. I am not. I mean, look, I'm not gonna be. Look, I'm not beta testing it. Yeah. I'm gonna wait till it comes out yeah. and see what the reviews are because I'm not. I'm. I'm okay. Although I'm. A, I'm okay with trying that. I'm also cheap. 
So okay. I gotta make sure it works as a product. Yeah, you're you're you just want to have a working model. Yeah, you're gladly try. I'll it. try yeah. it if it works. I'll tell you right now, I'm never touching that thing. Okay, well let us know never what you guys thing. think about this and would you would you try this product out? And don't forget the Beyond Science Instagram page is up and running. Instagram.com slash Beyond Science TV. Uh, we're giving you almost daily uploads of cool information, cool Beyond Science information. So definitely sign up for that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Later, guys. See you. Bye.